Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video I have an early fall haul for you and I have a much requested, super simple bow tutorial so that you can add your own personal touch to your fall decorating. So for fall this year, I wanted to incorporate the sage, green, gray, and cream colors that I have going on in my sort of farmhouse styled kitchen and family room. I was shopping at my usual places, not having much luck, and then I went to Big Lots. Big Lots was just awesome. They had a ton of farmhouse style fall decor in exactly the color theme that I was looking for. There were pillows, candles, pumpkins, and they had the most beautiful cream colored lanterns. So I have a bit of a haul to share with you today. Now this was only what I got on my first trip to Big Lots. I went a few more times as I was getting all of my fall decor together. Be sure to subscribe. I will have my full fall home tour video up this week so you can see how it all came together. So I was pretty excited to find pillows that matched my family room. These green cottage pumpkin pillows are 18 inches and have that sage green and gray color that I was looking for. And it's all on a really pretty cream colored background. I bought three of these at only $12 each, which I thought was really an incredible price for just seasonal toss pillows. I had seen some at other stores for three times that amount. I also got this smaller pumpkin accent pillow. I really thought this was cute. It was only $12. I love the size and that it had all of the three colors that I was looking for. So my favorite thing that I got at Big Lots were these lanterns. I loved so much about these. I love that they were distressed, that they had two battery operated candles inside, and that they had some leaves and pumpkins. I didn't love the ribbon that they had chose to put on top or the little sprigs of greenery that were stuck all around the candles on the bottom. I knew that they were both easy fixes. I already had some ribbon that I had loved that I can easily make my own bow for the top and those little sprigs of greenery could be easily removed with the help of some wire cutters. The lanterns were a little pricey at $30 a piece, but I knew that this was something that I would use all year round. I could change out the ribbons and the florals to match whatever season that we were in, and I knew that I would be able to use them for the upcoming Christmas season. So next I found two of these iridescent lighted pumpkins for $16. They were the perfect color green. I love the way the light shone through the little leaf cutouts and they were glossy so even when they weren't turned on they still had a little sparkle. I bought a couple of these white candlestick holders. I wish I would have gotten more at the time because when I went back they were all gone. So if they get more in, I'm sure I will probably pick up a couple more. They had fall candles in a bunch of different colors. I chose the sage green color. I wasn't too crazy about the scent of the candle, but that's okay. I don't really burn these types of candles anyway, and I just thought they were so pretty with the leaf charm and the raffia bow. I just thought they were really cute. For most holidays, I always pick up paper plates and paper napkins, and I really love this large size of plate. They're perfect for the dessert table because we like really big plates for our dessert table, but I just couldn't pass these up. I really like the color and the different size napkins. I picked up some table linens while I was at Big Lots. There was a couple different styles to choose from and I ended up getting a little bit of both styles. These placemats and table runner have the same design as that little pillow that I had showed you earlier. They did not have any cloth napkins to match though, so what I did, I picked up a small tablecloth that I'm just going to use to make my own napkins with. 
So this was everything that I had gotten in my first fall haul. And I wanted to show you guys how easy it was to switch up these lanterns. You know, I often change things up a little bit to help a piece fit in better with my decorating. And it was very simple to remove the greenery inside by just snipping off the ends underneath with a wire cutter. Next we'll go ahead and remove this ribbon and I will show you how you can very easily make your own. So you will need some wired ribbon. Any type of ribbon will do, but wired always keeps its shape much better. A piece of twine and some really good sharp scissors. So to begin, start with a length of ribbon, make a loop and hold it tightly between your thumb and forefinger. Form another loop on the opposite side and about the same size holding each new loop tightly in your hand. Twist and create another loop going back and forth, twisting each loop until you have at least three on each side. When you have the size you want, cut your ribbon being sure to leave a length for the ribbon tail. Tie the loops tightly where you were holding them with your string. Start fluffing your ribbon by taking each loop and pulling it forward or backwards until you get that more rounded shape. Now I'm ready to attach it to the lantern by just tying it on with the remainder of the string and arranging the bow to where it looks the best. Next I'm just going to fold over the edges of the ribbon and cut it on the diagonal to make the pretty ends. You can use this method to make bows of any size for any project. You can add as many loops as you want as long as there is an even amount on each side. This is how I make bows for all my wreaths and it's a great skill to have during the holidays. Thank you so much for watching today. If you are new here, please subscribe. I make videos every week about all things home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.